Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Let me start by congratulating Monica and David for three successful years of promoting excellence and multiculturalism on honoring the top businesses and professionals in 10 different ethnic communities in the GTA. Please continue the excellent work. Thank you. Also, I'd like to thank the Atlantis Pavilion staff for their excellent hospitality tonight. Now, Monica and David asked me to share some of my thoughts on multiculturalism. So I'll start with a provocative thought. We all know and have our own definition of the term visible minority. In fact, I myself am considered a, to be a visible minority. However, what happens when the minority becomes the majority? Will the term visible minority be applicable in the future? Will we be looking at a new terminology of visible majority? Before answering this, I thought I'd share some highlights from a recent presentation I made at a conference for multiculturalism, multicultural marketing conference. I pointed out that Toronto is one of the most multicultural markets in the world. It has recently surpassed Miami, Florida, which held the record in 2004 in terms of foreign-born population within the city. Also, more than half of the population in the GTA does not speak English or French as their primary language. As a result, we're seeing several changes in the marketplace. We're seeing demographic changes from increasing immigration. The citizens of the GTA are less homogeneous, which makes it difficult for businesses and government to come up with a one-size-fits-all solution. Also, there's been recent changes in ethnicity, language, religion, and social changes. In this case, there exist con conflicting lifestyles, cultures, and values with different priorities. So how do we succeed? Well, in the case of the Sun, we found common values across all cultures, such as safety, taxes, environment, and government waste, to name a few. So I return to the question, what happens when the minority becomes the majority? Regardless of the answer, businesses need to find and identify common values for consumers, such as one, outstanding customer service, two, uncompromising quality, and three, exceptional value. They need to redefine themselves and be well positioned for the future. So here we are today to recognize the businesses who have successfully been able to adjust to the multicultural changes in the GTA. On behalf of one of the mainstream businesses in Canada, allow me to, be, allow me to congratulate all the winners tonight on your accomplishments. You are the leaders of this multicultural change. And we at the Toronto Sun are honored to be considered part of this elite company. Thank you for your attention and all the best to you, your customers, and your businesses.